Well, <laughs> apparently uh, spring is here once again, and dukes and marquesses and lesser lords are stocking their parks with wildlife. Visitors can now drive on safari around stately homes. It's once again the open season for the aristocracy. I would never have thought you could go on safari in the bosom of England, but you can, because we did. We hadn't hardly started on our trip to see the king of the beasts roaming free as nature intended, when Vic suddenly spotted one. A real lord of the jungle. Just one snap and he was gone. And then there was another. What a noble beast. How imperial. And then they were all around us. Whole families were feeding by the water. <laughs> Full of animal ears. But taking fright, they bounded off with a wonderful feline grace. Two of them had killed a bottle of champagne and taken it up a tree to divide between themselves. <laughs> And then a moment of poetry, the mating dance, a privileged glimpse of the beautiful preliminary. But that was all we saw. It was time to move on. Lying on our warm bonnet was a fully grown male. I was rather scared, but he did not seem unfriendly, just a little untamed and proud. However, as we drove away, he turned on us, bellowing the thrilling war cry of his race. Mummy! 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 Oh, my dear, it's lovely night! My money! And one thing, money! <laughs> 